everyone, welcome back to another episode of Loot Patrol. Today we are tackling Minecraft. And as you can see from our beautiful, beautiful uh, house, we have already started this world. We actually oh, had God. A, another episode recorded before this. Um, and let's just say bad things happened. Um, the episode got scrapped, but so this is the little house that we started and we're being killed by uh, fish people with uh, with with. Tri tritons, Tony? What are they called? Tridents? Tridents, yeah. Triton's the king. Ah, I see. Yeah, he's the king from Little Mermaid. No, uh, yeah, there were some technical difficulties, but, you know, okay now. Yeah, and then don't forget to check out Discord link is down below if you want to come hang out with us on Discord, um, as well as like and subscribe if you like what you see. It definitely helps us out. Um, and on that, since we did unfortunately have to scrap those last episodes, uh, right now the goal is kind of just a vanilla Minecraft playthrough, get through it, get some diamond, get to the nether, get to the ender, rock this thing. Ooh, this must <laughs> be the mine! I see that, uh... <laughs> did you walk in the steps and fall straight down? I did. That was a beautiful... Beautiful setup that you had there. Yeah. I was like, hey, Tyler, you should help me out with this mine. These things keep on killing me. And you're like, no, I'll build a house. Well, to be fair, it is a beautiful house. A beautiful house. It's a nice house. I know it is. <laughs> All right, let's see if I go. Oh, oh, whoa. We're good. Oh, There's also a side saying. entrance by the lava pool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. We need to get both in there so we can take out those zombie boys. It feels good to be back in uh back in Minecraft. It has been a long time since I've done like a genuine playthrough. Yeah, I was feeling a little grumpy before, like right before we were started, but as soon as you booted up the game and I started to hear the music, I feel a little better. Good. Been a bit of a long Good. day, so it's nice to just unwind. Minecraft really is that unwind game. Minecraft actually, like, ten years ago was the game that got me to get a uh, a PC so I could play it with Anthony when we were. We were in high school. We were wee lads together. I remember I uh, I gave your mom like six dollars so she could buy it <laughs> because my parents didn't trust buying anything online at the time. Yep. That was awesome. She's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll get this thing for you. Why do you need me to do it? No reason. My mom was pretty cool in that aspect. She really didn't question things. It was just like, hey, can you please do this thing? And she'd just kind of look at you and be like, um, sure. Why? Ah, there's like, a okay. zombie thing with a trident in the, in the mine. What is up with these trident boys? Should we go further inland? Whoa, whoa, oh. They fucking shoot out. You don't remember? I told you last time they do like five things of damage. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to block okay. off. See that little pool over there of water? We need to block that off. That was ridiculous. I know. It's a feisty boy. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, scrapped episode, as we mentioned. We lost. It was kind of a nice, nice place to actually to, to restart because I had just lost my entire inventory to Trident Boys. I think they're called like the Drowned or something. All right, let's block this pool off so that we don't have to worry about worry about these guys because I definitely don't want to have to worry about these guys. We should be good there. Was 
was uh minecraft the first like building game that you played probably i mean i played roblox a little bit before that but this style of game probably roblox or probably minecraft I definitely feel like Minecraft kind of was the first, you know, survival horror wasn't really a big thing for me yet. I won't say it wasn't a big thing because I, I don't know when it really started. But for me, you know, stuff like the forest and stuff like that where you're crafting and building stuff really wasn't like that big yet. Yeah, no, it was kind of the perfect time for the genre to emerge is when Minecraft hit the scene. There was actually this really, uh, really, a butt. <laughs> that was funny. Well, the funniest part is I, I told Anthony before recording too, I was like, Hey, this is, this is Minecraft. It's a chill game. Like, I'm going to try to not curse and <laughs> where I've, I've said a, a couple of curse words a couple times. I'm, I've not done, not done well. Yeah, in the first minute you're like, yeah, let's <gasps> do this. Dude, there is a baby zombie riding a duck. What? Yes. That's awesome. Okay. Let's not yes. die this time. We need to get a means of getting food. So I can just go plug the rest of this up. All right, should I work on if you're working on the tunnel, do you want me to work on a farm? Start getting some food rolling so we can. Oh, yeah. Okay. It would be great. All right, I will. Th I will make that my big, my big to do. That sounded some... different. <laughs> it sounded like a normal zombie. Oh god! Oh god! It's the chicken! It's the chicken zombie. Isn't it adorable? Uh... I think it can still hurt us. I think it can too. Kill it. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Good job. Now we have a chicken. Yeah. We killed a child who is. Sounds like someone's trying to break in. <laughs> <laughs> so that noise is there's dogs next to a glass screen right next to me and they're wagging their tails. So they keep bumping the glass with their tails. They're, they're very excited. I don't know why they should be ready to go to go sleepy time. They they just they just had a beautiful dinner. Now they're all usually they come up right together. out. Oh, there's more Trident boys. Why did we settle so close to the ocean? You know, it actually reminds me of this song. You're being that, chased uh, by a bunch of them. I, I noticed this has not been the most beautiful restart. We may want to move away from these guys. Because they're coming for me next. Oh, there's a bunch of them. We're not hard or anything. Just a normal, normal survival playthrough. Follow me, creeper. Probably get killed by the drowned. Oh! Did you hurt him with that? I mean, the goal was to hurt him with that. Oh god, I'm in lava. This has been... <laughs> Got one this of them. Do they have barrier. tridents? Yes, they have tridents. Oh! oh, 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 oh. I flinched at that. <laughs> You may want to relocate, my guy. Unless you want to fill up that entire lake outside. Uh, I... I'm, I'm thinking right now. 
I'm thinking I'm still on fire on my screen. Am, am I on fire? No, you you're not on me? fire on my screen. Uh, okay. Can we sleep through the night with that thing right outside the door? No. Oh my goodness. Do I have any swords? Everything okay, buddy? Just spacing out. I'm just I'm changing a setting real quick because hey, stuff's being funky. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm still on fire and I'm steaming in the water. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Oh. <laughs> this is a disaster. I just I just want to not be on fire. Like that's all I want. I wonder if I drown. If it will take the fire off me. No, but I can't. Okay, I got the fire to go off. Jeez Louise, Peppa Cheese. Dude, I know. Apparently 10 years is quite the difference. Okay, here I come. I think the sun's coming up. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I think the big question right now should be, should we relocate? We didn't take our beds with us. No, we didn't. And that's a witch's hut. Hmm, should I try to get away from the water? Should we run to a swamp? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we should go. There's some hills over there that I'm I'm intrigued by. I like how we get to skip the starting episode only to do a new starting episode. <laughs> you never know when stuff's gonna happen. Like you're gonna get destroyed repeatedly by freaking drowned trident boys. The only place I can think of to go would be like a tundra area. Or on a mountain. Or on a big old mountain. Jeez, what is with are we like spawn in the wetlands? Like <laughs> there's more swamp. Uh -oh. oh wait, look over there. There's like a what kind of trees are those? Those are those kind of trees. Birch tree, birch forest over there. Ooh. Let's go over to the birch forest. Okay, there's more sheep over there too. Ah, might want to run away, sheep. We're coming. Nope, stay away from that lava. The sheep like went over to the lava, like threatening me he was going to jump in it. He's like, I will die before you kill me. You know, even up on top of this hill, I think would be good. Right here. Yeah. Oh, you're right behind me. Right here. Yeah, we could clear this little spot right here. Start building on top of this, top of this hill. Wonderful. The drown will be way down there. Yeah. We have traveled across the swamps. There's a huge swamps, and we reached this nice little uh, birch forest, top of a yeah. hill. So, the drown won't be able to get us up here. A nice little house Actually, on top. The peaceful birch forest reminds me, uh, it, not in recording, Anthony and I are playing World of Warcraft right now, and we're playing through Pandaria, and I don't know if anyone, if any of you have played uh, World of Warcraft before, but Pandaria, say what you want about the expansion, but the world was beautiful.
they did an amazing job and it has a very peaceful and serene kind of beauty to it and this game kind of when the music tone hits you right and the band hits you right it kind of gives me that same same peaceful vibe it's good times I build a quick little workbench. Nice. Do that. I will. Birch planks always reminded me of white chocolate. Hmm. And that makes me think of the fruity pebbles bar. Oh man, that bar is something special. Mm hmm. Is just like a bowl of fruity pebbles. Candy bar. Oh, I should probably start lighting up the area. Uh oh, yeah. I didn't bring any torches. Or I think anything. They bring me back to uh, sleeping in the dirt for a night. Yeah, probably. Oh, I didn't bring any torches either. There's a hole. Let me see what this hole has. Oh boy. It's very dark, but there is some coal in here. Yes, I do. Just a moment. Oh, I mined up some andesite. I can't... Can I make a pickaxe with that? I don't think so. Useless, man. What are animals that have, like, a normal talking volume and a normal, like... Like a whispering volume, you think? Like in real life or in a video game? In oh, yeah, in real life. This game. Like, uh, dogs kind of just have like a bark and then a louder bark. <laughs> they yeah, have really good hearing, so. I've seen videos of people who have gotten their dogs to like get used to the concept of quieter barking. But I don't think it's something that they just, like, do naturally. Mm. But then again, I find it hard to think that a dog that, you know, was was a predator, not so much anymore, but at one point in history was a predator, um, could survive in the wild by only barking loud. <laughs> That's true. Plop some torches down on these trees. Nice. Oh, hey, creeper. I can't sprint. Don't die. Do you need anything exploded? Not right this second. Let me see if I can eat raw salmon. Come on, sashimi. Can't eat raw salmon. You know. Minecraft was actually one of the very first uh, Let's Plays that I ever watched on YouTube. Oh, yeah. X's Adventures. Yeah. He actually... So, X was the same... It was the guy who actually got me into uh, Duke Nukem 3D as well. And Castlevania Area of Sorrow, which both essentially, like, became, like, huge games. Like, I consider them both in my, like, probably top... Easily top 20, possibly top 10 games of all time. Alright, took down the other creeper. I'm so glad I could eat the raw salmon. I wonder if I could I fish from way up here. I will need some cobblestone for our build, so if you uh, just so happen to be down and about in some cobbly areas. Okay. 
I'll go mine, yep, some cobblestone. Mine, cobblestone, okay. Mine. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, Lil Nas X? Yeah, Lil Nas. Lil Nas. Uh, so, <laughs> he just came out with that song, Call Me By Your Name, mm -hmm. which, uh, I saw he named after the, uh, gay romance movie of the same name call me by your name uh, okay. i still don't understand what that means call I've, me by your name i've never seen the movie have you no and so i'm just like call me by your like i just want to know what that phrase means like is the only thing i can think of is pet name like, you know, baby or honey or whatever other name you use. Right. Which is kind of what I think, too. That That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Because calling my spouse my name de definitely doesn't. Does, doesn't do it for me. For me. <laughs> oh yeah, I, mean, if I went. I went over and you know called her Anthony. Oh yeah, Anthony. Keep going like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, no. Would not do it for me. If someone was so into you that they wanted you to call them you when you were going with them, that's a red flag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you if you are curious uh, or if you think you know what it means or if you just outright know what it means, uh, let us know in the comments below because it's confusing the heck out of me. Just mining out a little chamber underneath the house. One of my favorite things to have in Minecraft is like a map room or just in any thing where there's player owned or player built housing is a map that shows a whole thing of the world it just makes it feel so cool that is cool uh speaking of which uh player rooms and player housing do you see that fallout 76 added like a i, I don't know if this is super old news or not but added like your own little personal vault really it's, it's pretty it's cool it's just like a tiny little room but just having the ability to like put your own um oh, snap your own vault in like your own like private room that's not out in the world it's nice i like it you have people come over to yours i assume so because it's just it's like so you put down your camp like you would normally and then after you put your camp down you uh you can build a little hatch and then you can just access the hatch to get into your like little vault and you can just build it up like you would your normal camp. Hmm. Sounds pretty sweet. Yeah. Fallout 76, that's one of those games where I've had fun with it. I feel like the game itself isn't a bad game. I feel like it wasn't marketed super well and I, I like... I wish that more people were into it. Oh, well, you know, that's what happens when... That's what happens when things are released poorly. They're released the wrong way. I mean, they'll make their money back, the investors will get their cash from the quick grab, but long-term damage is awful. Mm-hmm. Or at least it's supposed yeah, to be good. awful. Like, it seems like it should be awful, but I don't know if the numbers are in a lie or not. Right. Just looking at sports games, for example, the fans have been handed the same game over and over again. Not even just, not even just like, oh, it's the same game but with different people because it's still basketball. But just comparing it to old, to, uh, older entries in the same series. Plop down some chests, and you can throw. Actually, I'll put it up front. That way, you don't have to worry about getting rid of it. I just threw a bunch of stone in there. Could you possibly be barking at? I don't know. It's only one dog. Like, there's not two of them barking at each other. It's just. <laughs> it's just one who's really upset or really excited about something. 
Yeah, probably ate too much poop. Damn dogs. Eat too much poop. I, you know, I'm just glad that that's a statement that can never, like, typically, I should say, typically sh won't be ever said about a person. Like, oh, did you eat too much, did you eat too much poop today? There's a bee! There's a bee! Like a, bee. Bum, like a bumble? Bee. Yes, there's a bee! It's flying! That's cute. I think it might sting me if I go close, though. I don't know. I'm gonna go to see what's up. Bee? Oh, he's so cute. He's so big! It's Can you befriend it? I don't know. Maybe I could put down this rose bush. I don't know anything about the bees other than we can get honey from them. Mm. Here you go, bee. He's a friend. He flew by the rose bush. He doesn't seem to be that. Oh, it's cute though. Does this mean there's a hive nearby, I wonder? I wonder. I think everyone's gonna have to wonder and keep wondering until next episode. Oh, he's so chubby. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Peace. Peace. Yeah, believe it or not, I kind of understand. We had to scrap four episodes because you couldn't hear me speak. <laughs>